leading all of the energy centers off, which represents the head, the face. When you arise as an Aries, you're coming out the cosmic wound as that baby. You are Aries rising. And what? We are open to new things. We get shit done. We are warriors. We are independents. We love hard. We are passionate. We are driven to get what we want. We are courageous. We love adventurous. We, we are lively, we are positive, we are versatile. We protect those we love, come hell or high water. You can trust us with our actions. What we say is what we mean. We are young at heart, we are charismatic. We are the alphas. We are aspiring to, to be around. We are raw, real, rough. Rackets, yes. We are rowdy. We are believers in new beginnings. We are the superheroes, the Aries. Now, here come Taurus. Taurus rising. The bull represents the throat. So when you arise, you had the cosmic body of a Taurus. You represent the throat. You had the mind of a Taurus. And when you arise, we are grounded. We work extremely hard. We like to be beautify everything in our lives. We are generous. We are loyal. We are loving. You know you can depend on us. We are homely. We are thoughtful. We are steady and solid. We show our emotions physically. We are calm. We are sensual, sexy. We are self-reliance. We are patience. We are calm. Again, our arms open wide. We are very close to nature. We are intelligence. We are artists. We are practical and strong. We are warm-hearted. We are outgoing, happy, and happy. We are sensitive and persistent. We are the powerful souls. Taurus rising. Now arise with the arm and the hands. You got Gemini. You got the duity. This is the Gemini rising. And this is deal with the arms and the and the hands. Parts of the body. When you arise as a Gemini, this is your first mind. This is your personality. This is your natural reaction. This is your cosmic body. It says that. We are adaptable to any situation. We are carefree. We are intellectual. We are fun. We are open-minded. We are social butterflies. We are meditative. We know lots about different subjects. We can talk to people about all kinds of things. We go with the flow. Changes don't stress us out. We are excited to learn. We see different sides to situations. We are generous. We are adjustable. We are soft-spoken. We are witty. We are sharp and highly active. We are... The mind readers, the telepathy ones, Gemini rising. Now, arise. The moon. If you had a moon child rising, which is my sign, this is your first personality, your natural reaction. You are moody. Yes, the moon. And so, this is also your mind. This is your personality. This is, your, this is how you arise. We have huge hearts. We are lovers of love. We are caring and protective. We are compassionate. We are screenly intuitive. We are nurturing. We are able to, to read people. We pick up on energies and vibes quickly. We are form, formable, a formable force. Yes, they create forms like the home life. We are clairvoyance. We are understanding. We are soft on the inside. We are motherly. We are lovable. We are giving. We are creative. We are a screenly faithful. We make excellent parents. We are spiritual. Our feelings run deep. We are sympathetic. We are introverts. We are the protective and, and healers. We are the protective ones and healers. Cancer rising. Now, as we rise, the sun come out from the moon, from the breast, from the breast, which represents cancer. What's hitting under the breast? The sun, which is the heart, which is Leo. And this is your first personality. This is your. This is your body your appearance your natural reaction as the sun this is how you arise like early what they call morning we say rising and you are the loyal say we are loyal we are loving we are proud we thrive in the spotlight we are lovers of children we, we love fiercely and deeply we are confidence we are capacity we are outgoing we are the life and soul of the party we are charismatic we are the extroverts we are natural leaders we are courageous we are straightforward we are determined we are deep thinkers we are persistent persistence i can't even get it out of my mouth when i speak to this hyper energy of fire we are persistence we are forgiving we bring the sunshine into your life when days are stormy we are the emperors the emperor em empress the royal ones we are the leo risings yes now we move on 
after the all the leadership with the rise and the guts, the stomachs, the sister one, which represents the stomach area, the, the gut intuitive feeling. We talk about the virgin. Yes, the virgin. So this represents the first, your per, first personality. This, rep, this represents your cosmic body. This represents a natural part of you. And when you arise as a Virgo rising, to say we love to help others. We are the professionalists. We are neat. We are organized. We are analytical. We are intelligent. We are precise. We are introverts. We are intense. We are sensible. We are realistic. We are loyal. We are responsible. We are down to earth. We are careful. We are patient. We are dependable. We make the best nurses. We are balanced. We are trustworthy. We get the best advice. We have a great eye for detail. We are the problem solvers and healers. Who's that healer? Virgo rising. We are the Virgo rising. Now, you know, after all of this healing, who need balance? It comes the scale. We need a judge to balance out all the energy centers throughout the body. And this represents what? Your lower back, your kidneys. What? Yes, and also some of your sacral area, right? Ooh, who are you? The scales. You need that balance. And what we got? We got Libra. If you're a Libra rising, say we are peaceful. We are diplomatic. We find best solutions to any situation. We are loving. We are comfortable. Yeah, we are comforting. We are charming. We are friendly. We are balanced. We can have fun with anyone. We love learning. Beyond for knowledge, we are easygoing, we are p- persuasive, we are elegant, we are quick wit, we are clever, we are interesting, we are excited, we are forceful, and we add a splash of beauty where we go. Who are we? We are uh, the charmers and magical one who everyone loves. Who? The rising, the scales, it's one of the best, if not the best. Now, as we move. Pass the scale and go above and go deep into this water. Who ain't afraid of the water? It's the face. Nope, not the face. It's the sexual area, the sacral area for real. It represents the sexual teeth. Yes, and this is your natural personality, your head, and you are the detector. So you are Scorpio rising, and we are devoted lovers. We are sexy and mysterious. We are extremely loyal. We are honest. We love deeply and intensely. We are very protective of, of our loved ones. We are nurturers, a nurturing. We have excellent memories. We are deep thinkers with deep feelings. We are sexy, passionate, and romantic. We are spiritual. We are psychic. We can heal you with just one touch. We are realistic. We are considerable. We are intuitive. We are uh, sympathetic. We are sensitive. We are unstoppable, sensual, and psychic. And who are we? The Zodiac Detector Scorpio Rising. Now, after all of this, who needs some air? Who needs to flow? Who needs to go? And then this is the thighs. This is the thighs. The thighs area. This is the hips. Wow. Who can move them hips? This is not your natural personality. This is this is who you are naturally. And this is not only your natural personality, but your cosmic body. And we enjoy accomplishing the impossible. We are carefree. We are courageous. We love adventures. We are the optimistic. We are the free spirits. We have a never-ending need to find the truth. We are always moving forward. We are loyal. We are truth revealers. We are big-hearted. We, we perform well under pressure. We are lovers of nature. We go with the flow. We are passionate. We are direct. We are re- rarely jealous or possessive. We are positive. We are uh, intelligence. We are the wise and the third eye truth seekers. Who are we? Who? Sagittarius rising. Always expanding. Now, since it expands its horizon, we're going to who? The practical one. Now we got to get more earthly. We have to. We have to display your natural personality. When we come to this, you are stable. You definitely are a leader, and you handle your business. And so we are. Capricorn rising. Yes, we are res- res- resilient and resourceful. We are honest, sometimes too honest. We are structured. We are determined. We are very ambitious. We are hard workers. We are financially focused. We are loyal. We are tense. We are dependable. We are patient. We are down to earth. We are realistic. We are sincere. We are tolerant and proud. We are wise and logical. We have an inner strength. 
that let us fight through the storm that comes our way. We are composed, calm, and reserved. We are caring. We are sensitive. But you never really see it. Who are we? We are the material manifesting powerhouse. Can't count the corn rising. Excuse me. I about to say. I about to say what? Cat the corn? No. I about to say what? Cancer? No. Cat the corn. Which is the opposite. We really get the job done. Now, who we have here at the Cat the corn? This definitely are the, are the ones who pour out the truth, the, the water barriers. And this is the natural personality, your face. This is what govern your whole being. This is you. And we are the Aquarius rising. We are open minded. We are the friendliest people around. We are creative. We are the free thinkers. We are original. We are pro pro progressive. We are always there for others. We are very unique. Yes, and, and are too. We are intelligence. We have creative ways of thinking. We are curious. We are geniuses. We are re rebellious. We are eccentric, which means odd. We are inventive. Uh, did they did they say uh, innovative? Because that should be on there too. They're innovative. Think outside of the box. We are a screening fund of the unusual. We are exciting. We are a laugh to be around. We are the humanitarians. We are the intuitive, scientific geniuses. Who are you? You are the Aquarius rising. Yes, this is you. Now, move on to the last of the last. Yes, we have all the traits. You have so much of these traits. It's the only thing they want is to be free. Be free. I want to see others free and live with compassion. And this is your natural personality. This is your body. This is who you be. Two fishes. What? They need balance, right? One represents what? The inner world and the outer world, right? It's nothing like who? Pisces. Pisces rising. So we are. We give. I will add to those that need it. We see things on deeper levels. Yeah, that's the waves. We are dreamers. We are intuitive, definitely. We are sincere. We are compassionate. We have big hearts. We are empathetic. Yeah, these psychic empaths. Uh, yes. We are self selfless. We are loving. We are sensitive. We would rather see others happy first. We are meditative. We are artistic. We are accepting. We are loyal. We are spiritual. Our feelings run deep. We are non-confunctional, which means they are non-dramatic and stuff like that. And you know who it be. These are the spiritual warriors, which is Pisces rising. Y'all are non-confrontational type person, which is Pisces rising. Now, since this is the last of the last, and Pisces put to be the most psychic, Neptune, and for, before I go back to the first, which is Aries again, this deal with the sentence. This, this governs your body. This, this governs your whole, all, it represents all your houses. So whatever, whatever planets that's with your ascendant sign will govern your whole chart. Like mine is Cancer rising, so the moon makes my chart. So I'm the moon child. The moon will, will influence all the houses. It's part of my chart. So with this being said, now you understand. This is you. This is definitely what it be. Yes. I shake.